In 2012, Missouri, as well as a good portion of the Midwest, experienced the worst drought in decades. Ponds went dry. Overgrazed areas turned to cracked earth. By August, pastures died and horse owners began to feed hay. In September, the rain returned, the days turned cold, and the sun shined. Finally, the areas of exposed dirt blossomed with new growth. Unfortunately, the new growth, appearing to be a green fuzz of life, was actually a closely mowed, stressed grass that was high in sugar content. In 20 years of practice, Dr. Amy Rucker, a solo ambulatory practitioner in Columbia, Missouri, says she has never had as many acute endocrinopathic laminitis cases due to her patient's diet consisting of high amounts of this sugary grass. We always stress prevention, but I have a lot of trouble with our management because the simple fact is is that feeding horses makes us happy. So although the veterinarians and farriers in our area really stress um, trying to give optimal care to our patients, I think that we still have cases of laminitis, especially in years like this when the different conditions conspire against the chubby ponies of the world. Laminitis is a devastating disease with so many questions that need to be answered. We have good laboratory models of laminitis, but not enough information on acute endocrine clinical cases. Most of our endocrine cases present chronically, limiting our knowledge. Knowing more about the early stages can change our prevention strategies and our long-term management of these cases. Launched at the convention last year, the AAEP Foundation took on the task of developing the Laminitis Research Project aimed at establishing foundational research to find veterinary solutions for laminitis in horses. The project's first study is supported by the AAEP Foundation and its many donors, as well as by Persend, manufactured by Beringer Ingelheim Vetmedica. While the laminitis study has met with some success, we are lacking some cases. We're announcing today that we're going to extend the study into 2013. Extending the study into 2013 is good for the health and welfare of horses, but we need your help. Based on practitioner feedback, we have changed the study definitions. Any new case of laminitis that has been evaluated in the past four weeks is eligible for entry into the study. Participation by practitioners in the U.S. and Canada is critical to our success with this project. We're looking for new cases of laminitis that are not caused by sepsis, non-weight bearing, or grain overload. We welcome cases that occur for unknown reasons, have recent corticosteroid administration, pasture exposure, or are confirmed or suspected endocrinopathies. To learn more, sign up to participate, or to submit case data, please visit the AAEP Foundation's website.